Let's look at the service you'll complete every 2,000 service hours, also known as PM4 maintenance. Required service varies by machine, but here's what to expect for a CAT D6 XE dozer. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. First, move your machine to a dry level surface. Let it coast to a stop because this will help later when checking track tension. Put your machine in park, lower implements to the ground, and lock out the hydraulics. Walk around your machine to look for any leaks, rust, or other damage. For all maintenance, you can order everything you need at parts.cat.com. Enter your machine's serial number to see which parts you need for your machine. This is also where you can find the self-service options for your equipment. SSOs provide detailed service instructions and recommended parts and tooling. Now, let's go through how to complete PM4 maintenance. First up, take your SOS services samples. Start the engine to take the coolant, engine, hydraulic, and transmission samples. They all need to be taken while the engine is running and the compartments are at operating temperature. Open the left engine access door and insert the tube into the SOS port to collect the coolant. On the right side of the machine, Take the oil samples for the engine, hydraulics, and transmission. Now you can turn off the engine and take the samples from both final drives. Next, shut off the D6 XE electrical system so you can safely inspect it. Check enclosures, cables, harnesses, and ground straps and cables. Replace missing hardware, clean off built-up debris, and make any necessary repairs. For PM4, You'll drain and replace a few of your oils, so start with engine and powertrain. Open the cover under the machine. Open the plate in the belly pan and drain the engine oil. Move toward the back of the machine to remove the powertrain oil plug. Using OMM recommended tooling such as a swivel and hose, drain the oil into a suitable container. Change the filter and remove the swivel. Replace the O-ring if it's damaged and clean the oil drain plug before reinstalling it. Next, clean the suction and generator screens. Disconnect the hose and remove the suction screen. Also, disconnect the generator housing hose and remove the generator scavenge screen. Remove the magnetic generator plug to clean and inspect it, and then wash the screens and solve it. Reinstall the plug and screens and reconnect the hoses. Be sure to come back and reinstall the rear belly pan after you finish draining the powertrain oil. To change your fuel filter elements, Head to the back of the machine and shut off the fuel valve. While back there, drain any sediment from the fuel system into a suitable container for proper disposal. Find the primary filter in the left side engine access door. Open the drain valve and capture fuel in a suitable container for proper disposal. Remove the primary filter and old seal and wipe off the base with a clean cloth. Coat the new filter seal with clean diesel, but never pre-fill your filters. Place the new O-ring and install the new primary element by hand. Repeat those same steps for the secondary elements. In the same compartment, wipe around the engine oil filler cap and oil level check, and remove the cap to clean it. Find your battery access cover on the left side of the machine. Wipe down the batteries and look for any signs of leaking or damage. Also check that the terminals are secure. Next, enter the cab to check the recirculating air filter. Remove the filter and replace it if it's dirty or damaged. Now, find the equalizer bar end pens. Remove the left and right covers and inspect the seals. Also look for cracking and worn retainers or bolts. And don't forget to check the other side too. Inspect both front roller frame seals for leaks and damage and schedule service if needed. And check the track shoes on both sides for loose bolts and other damage. Now you'll check the tension of the tracks using a string and measuring tape. Stretch the string over the grousers from the sprocket to the front idler. Measure at each of these dips you see in the track. Average the two measurements and check that value against your OMM. If the track is too tight, release grease through the relief valve. If the track is too loose, add multi-purpose grease to the adjustment valve. In the same panel, check the recoil spring oil level. Make sure the oil reaches the level gauge mark you see in the recoil spring housing. Now, to begin final drive maintenance, you'll need to refill the engine and powertrain oils. 
To drain the final drive oil, move your machine so that the oil level mark is horizontal. This plug should be facing downward so that you can drain the oil. It's a magnetic plug, so wipe off any built up deposits. Note that it can be normal to see some metal shavings on the plug, but always refer to your SOS services results to determine if there are wear issues. Inspect the seal and replace it if it's damaged. Once the oil is drained, fill the drive with new oil. The level should be at the bottom of the filler plug opening. Check this plug seal too and replace it if needed. Repeat those steps, repositioning the machine as needed to change the oil and check the plug seals on the other side. Next, check pivot shaft oil on both sides of the track. The level should be at the bottom of the threaded hole, so add oil if needed. Now you'll replace the fresh air cabin filter, which is on the back left side of the D6 XE cab. Unlock the clasps and pull the filter down, making sure there is no debris left in the housing. Install the new filter and fasten the clasps. This is also where you access the fuel tank, so remove the cap and strainer. Wash the strainer and solve it. Now you'll replace the fuel cap filter. Remove the cap and the screws. Take out the old filter, wash the cap, and install a new filter. Moving on to the right side engine access compartment. Inspect the serpentine belt and replace it if it's damaged. Here, you can also change out your engine oil filter. Clean around the filter before removing it with a strap type wrench. Wipe the housing and make sure the old seal is removed. Coat the new filter seal with new engine oil and reference the instructions to install the filter. To replace the breather, loosen the clamp, remove the outlet hose, and take out the breather. Place a new O-ring seal, install the breather, and replace the hose and clamp. Now open the access door where you previously collected hydraulic and transmission oil samples. Remove and properly discard the steering charge filter. Make sure the entire seal has been removed and wipe the base with a clean cloth. Place the new seal and install the new filter by hand. Steps for replacing the powertrain filter are basically the same. Remove the filter housing from the base and dispose of the filter and seal. Wipe the housing and base with a clean cloth. Place the new seal and filter and install the housing into the base. Up here, check the ROPS FOPS bolts to make sure they're secure and look for any signs of visual damage. The powertrain breather is on the bulkhead bracket. Clean it or replace it if needed. If using CAT Hydo Advanced and keeping up with SOS analysis, you can extend your drain interval to 6,000 hours. Otherwise, be sure to drain your hydraulic oil every 2,000 hours. If your machine is equipped with a winch, replace the oil and lubricate the roller and fair lead assembly. If you noted any damage or other issues, be sure to service your equipment and make sure all compartments, guards, and ladders are back in operating position. Turn the electrical system back on to complete your PM4 service. For more information and support, contact your CAT dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.